All right, so you want to start buying some outboard gear, but you're not quite sure what you should buy first. So today I'm going to give you three suggestions and explain why each piece might be a good starting point for you, depending on your needs and how you work in your studio. So the first piece of gear I'm going to recommend to you is either a preamp or a channel strip. Now that might sound a little bit obvious, but we're going to go a little bit deeper down the rabbit hole. And if you're not sure what the difference between a preamp and a channel strip is, I did a video on that already and I'll link it at the end. Now having a good preamp or a channel strip is great until you have to stereo mic an acoustic guitar or drum overheads or drum room mics or you got a stereo synth you got to record. So this brings me to my point. If it makes sense for you to start with a preamp or a channel strip, for at least your first one, either get two of the same, or if that particular one comes in a stereo version, get the stereo one. That way you'll be able to get more use out of it. Because again, if you just have a single channel, you can only use it on certain things. And then when you need to record a stereo source, you're kind of SOL. But if you either buy two of the same unit, or if there's a stereo version, if you get that, then all your bases are covered. So moving on to number two, and this is where I started when I started to buy hardware again, is a multi-effects unit. Now, why specifically a multi-effects unit? Well, buying a reverb unit or a delay unit is great, but if you think about it, how many of your tracks do you actually use reverb on? Or how many of your tracks do you actually use delay on? Whereas a multi-effects unit is gonna have delays, it's gonna have reverbs, it's probably gonna have choruses and flangers and probably compression and all sorts of different things in it. So just because of that fact, there's more possibility for you to get more use out of that single piece of gear. Now then afterwards, if you wanted to get a separate reverb or delay, then I mean obviously have adder. But as a starting point, you'll probably get more use out of a multi-effects unit. And again, just like the preamp or the channel strip, try to find a stereo version as well. And last but not least, number three, a master bus compressor. Now there's a few reasons for this. First of all, pretty well any track you do is probably gonna have some type of compression on the master bus. So we can assume a master bus compressor is gonna get used on pretty well every track you do. You could start with an EQ, but if you're doing a lot of EQ on the master bus, you've probably got problems with your mix. Or even if you got like an empirical labs fatso, you might not want tape compression or tape saturation on every track you do. Another thing too with a master bus compressor is one of the perks of using software is you don't have to sit and take photographs of your gear and note all these settings down because it's saved in your DAW. And if you buy a master bus compressor, once you've had some time with it, you'll probably find its sweet spot, which means you'll be able to set it to where it sounds best and probably never have to touch it again. If you need more compression, just send more signal to it. If you need less, send less. Easy peasy. And then as a bonus, don't forget any of these three are also interchangeable. You could buy a channel strip and not only use it to track through, but you could use it when you're mixing. You might buy a master bus compressor. You could use that compression when you're tracking. Or again, mix your tracks through it or use it on your master bus. Same with a multi-effects unit. If there's really cool delays when you're tracking guitar, use those when you record. But at the end of the day, if you're going to spend the money on a piece of hardware, you might as well spend it on something you're going to get a lot of use out of, as opposed to something that's only going to get used here and there. So those are my three suggestions for you guys and girls out there. If you happen to have any comments or questions, again, always feel free to leave them down below. If you like buying a mug to help me out, yeah, that'd be cool too. And on that note, I've been Mr. Jeff. I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So take it easy. Bye.